بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay now in this video we'll try to understand the difference between the management tools the configuration management tools which are agent based and agent less so in the previous topics if you remember we have already discussed the basic difference between the master and the agent now the master is a device where you actually install the software where the software is actually installed and from uh, from this master it is going to control the nodes or we can say the master is responsible for sending out the configurations to the end devices or the nodes now probably these nodes or the devices it can be a router switch or server any device so probably these devices will will have something called agent software installed on the on the respective devices and these agents are going to get the information or the configuration information from the from the server and again with the help of this agent based software they are going to talk to the server okay so so basically here we'll see so this is the same thing what is called agent based but again we'll also see the agent less option so let's quickly see or review the agent based option the same thing what we covered earlier so in the agent based tools now there are some tools which requires an agent or the software to be installed on on the nodes so probably these are the nodes like the devices the end devices the router switch or any servers so they need to have some kind of software or the piece of code installed on those devices in order to get a communication with with the server so without that agent installed probably these these softwares or these tools which are agent based they will not be able to talk or communicate with with the with the server so you need an agent software to be installed on the nodes that's the first thing and these agents are required again these agents are responsible for communication process as i said the agents will be communicating with the master devices with the help of this tool and all the configurations will be present on your master and the master is going to send out you the configurations back to the agent okay so so the master is going to make the changes securely to the devices or to the end devices which has the agent installed now some of the examples here like puppet uh, chef and and salt stack these are some of the management tools which uses agent based so which means they requires an agent software to be running on the on the end devices now one of the problem with this agent based tool is like a lot of people are actually concerned about the agent the behavior of this of these tools like like i said all the end devices or the nodes requires an agent software must be supported or installed on that so there are many devices they do not natively support the agent software okay but again if you talk about these tools what we have covered here they require an agent software so basically there is an agent software required on the end devices for communication process so maybe there are some routers which is do support this agent software some may not okay so there is no support for this agent software on each and every device so now the problem is how to overcome that okay so to overcome that we have some other tools from from different vendors the management tools which requires no agent software and technically we call them as agent less tools like in the agent less tools it is quite opposite to that the end devices or the nodes we call them as and these nodes requires no agent to be installed means that they are just like a normal you can take just like a normal router normal switch and they don't really have any option or any special code installed on their devices to communicate with the with the server okay so there is no requirement of agent to be installed on the end devices but now the question is how the software is going to communicate it uses some of the supported features like ssh or the windows remote management options so basically ssh is a command line interface a, a secure command line interface to access the remote devices like most of the routers switches they natively support this and again uh, most of the windows like 
Windows Remote Management allows, you, allows the administrator to remotely run some management scripts. Okay, so with the help of these tools, you don't need an agent. So they, it will, they will be using like the pre-inch supported tools like SSH or Windows Reward Management. Now, now what is the alternative? So apart from that, if they need to support an agent, they will be using something called a proxy agent. Now proxy agent is something like, it's a kind of middleman sitting in between your software or the management tool and the nodes. So by default, if there is no agent here, which means there is no way you interact with the server. So this proxy agent is going to act as a middleman between your software and the nodes, which don't have any agent. Okay, so some of the examples uh, will be like the Ansible. Ansible uses SSH for remote access, which is again an agent less uh, configuration tool. And also we have something like a variation in the Puppet. We have something called Puppet Bolt. Now this Puppet Bolt is again to automate the same task uh, in a smaller infrastructure. And it is a very simple agentless, uh, agentless software you can install. And again, it is an open source option. So depending upon the software you select, it can be either agent based or agentless. So now you need to figure out whether whatever the management tool you have decided, you have to first figure out whether do it, it do support an agent or agentless. So if it is an agent based means your end devices or the nodes requires an agent code to be installed. But if your software, whatever you have selected, if it is supporting an agent list, which means you don't need uh, that particular agent co agent code or the software to be installed on the end devices. 